Hey there, uh, Jacob here. Uh, today I'm gonna unbox uh, the Anchor Blue uh, tournament attaché backgammon set from uh, from uh, Chris Lloyd. Uh, I've been looking really forward to to unboxing it um, uh, because I ordered it on the sixth of March, and today is the fourth of April, so. That's a month ago since I ordered it, uh, and and I uh, I ordered it, and I think it took a week for them to make it, and then uh, I there were some concerns about the shipping because actually right now it is just uh, the the uh, the time of the coronavirus, so I was a bit worried about if if things still got shipped from America to Europe because I live in Denmark, so uh, but finally it came. Actually, it came <laughs> it came uh, 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 ten days ago, uh, and and I picked it up at the post office. Um, but uh, but uh, I was uh, because of the coronavirus. I'm actually uh, able to work from home, so I've been working home for the last month. Uh, <clears throat> but due to the coronavirus, I, I I had a lot of extra work to do on my computer, so I was somewhat behind and and. Uh, and I, uh, I decided on that that uh, it was gonna be a treat, you know, like like uh, a thing. If I got to, if I got everything done, then I was allowed to to open this box because I really really look forward to it. So this is it. This is the weekend just before Easter. Uh, I put myself a beer and uh, now I'm gonna do some unboxing. So I hope you enjoy the video. So, this is the box, uh, it's been sitting in my apartment, uh, unboxed uh, or boxed uh, for 10 days now. Uh, I've, as I said, I was really busy at, at work uh, due to the coronavirus, uh, but now everything is done. Uh, so uh, this is my treat, I get to unbox this brand new uh, Chris Lloyd Anchor Blue uh, Tournament Attaché. Uh, Pour me some beer. Cheers. So, let's see what Chris Lloyd sent me. This is the check. Checkers. This is really neat. I'm not sure what, what what material they use, but it's 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 really nice to touch, uh, and everything just fits perfectly. Uh, the box, the handle. Uh, I'm not sure of the way. I can't remember, but but this is really. This is really beautiful and made, really beautiful. Um, let's start with, uh, no, let's start with, with opening the set. Uh, oh my God. This is so beautiful and made. So this is it. That's a card from Chris Lloyd. Actually, this is uh, this is uh, Jeff Caruso, the owner of uh, of Chris Lloyd. Uh, I'll get back to him later. Uh, a nice little gesture. Uh, 
as you can see, uh, crystalloid boards come with the uh, with the cork base, and it's 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 really really beautiful. I really like it, and it's it's a massive board. It's, it's really large. Let's see with the checkers. Everything you see on this board is handmade on uh, on their. They have a factory in uh, in Providence, Rhode Island, uh, and everything is made in the facilities of their factory. So they make their own checkers, they make uh, their own le leather cups, they make all the boards. Uh, is 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 crafted at at Chris Lloyd, and and it just oozes off. It's really craftsmanship. That's not a detail I can see that that's not been thought of or made perfectly to perfection. Yeah, that's kind of double bit, but um, it's a really, really, really nice board. Um, actually, uh, <clears throat> the size of it is, uh, I was going to talk about, uh, I checked out uh, before, when I decided I wanted a tournament board, I checked out uh, the sizes if there were minimum, maximum, and actually the Danish uh, Backgammon Federation has some measurements uh, and that's uh, 44 by 55 centimeters, that's the minimum, and, and for the metrically impaired, that's uh, 17 and one third of an inch by 21 and three, third, four, three quarters of an inch. Uh, uh, and the maximum is 66 by 88 centimeters and in inches that's 26 by around 34 inches so so this board when it's opened it's 76 centimeters which also uh, would be uh, that would be uh, 30 inches plus a quarter I think and it's 52 centimeters, which would be t around 20, a little bit over 20 inches. Uh, so it's a really massive board. It gives you uh, a perfect view. view. Uh, actually, I, I like big checkers. Uh, the bigger, the better. Uh, and, and these are supposed to be uh, one inch and uh, three quarters. Uh, Actually, they're a bit smaller centimeter wise as I. Well, they should fit the boy anyway. Uh, uh, but uh, let's check them out. Just beautifully made. Really smooth. Oh, are you kidding me? It's just smoothly over the bar. And at Chris Lloyd, you get uh, when you buy a board, you get an additional checker, so you have one uh, extra if you should uh, eventually lose one. Then they have sent extra checkers with one extra for each color, of course. Um, I, I 
actually didn't realize that the white also has these these uh, color shapes in them. Like I saw that on the, on the on the website, I could see that the blue was mixed with the white, but I didn't realize they also had something on the white. So they're really really gorgeous. Let's just check out the size. That's perfect. In total, it's like there's. I'm not sure what what the what the measurements are are in the the small measurements are in 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 America, but I think that's maybe two or three millimeters. There's so much space between when all the checkers are slide it to the side so so it, it feels really nice it's it's really tight made the the checkers fits the board size perfectly really perfect uh, and, and but i'm still totally amazed by this uh, actually um when, when i uh, i played a lot of backgammon like 15 years ago uh but uh, then I, I, me and my girlfriend uh, split up and uh, I think she kept the board, my board, or I didn't get it with me. So, and I just didn't play for 15 years, only uh, fun with, uh, with, uh, with friends, but not, not seriously playing. So uh, I, discovered, I rediscovered my interest for it and, and I started playing at a club uh, locally here in my city. Uh, and um, and uh, was beginning to think, think that I wanted a, a, a wanted to buy a, a new board. And everybody, the, my old board was uh, one uh, that I won in a tournament. Uh, I think maybe that was around a hundred dollars or something. Uh, but it, it was it was not as big as this, and it wasn't crafted like this. Not even close. This is I can't say it enough. This is really 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 nice. So uh, anyhow, I lost the board. So so uh, when I went to the club, I saw a lot of different boards, and actually uh, in Denmark, I've never seen cork bases. Uh, so uh, so I was I was really uh, hoping that it, it was uh, smooth and nice, and it's I'm totally amazed. I could do this all day. You can't you can't. You can't do this on any other board, a leather fabric, any any other board. Maybe a wooden board, but uh, but I don't like the wooden boards. They're really beautiful, but but wooden boards make make too much too much noise when you are uh, rolling the dice or or uh, it's this very high pitched clickety clack. I I don't care for it. So uh, so uh, this is this is amazing, amazing. Um, so I uh, I decided on on that I, I would uh, I would like either fabric or because there are some also some some really nice leather boards out there where where the points are stitched on but but everybody knows when when you just move it you can't move it with a finger because the, the checkers got stuck in the stitches so so it's it's kind of like wobbly and and also when you throw the dice on them so this is totally smooth I can't even when not looking I can't even feel, uh, there's a little bit. Maybe it's because of the paint is a little more slick, but 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 it's really really smooth, really amazingly smooth. Um, so I decided to try cork because, as I said, cork is not something that I've seen in uh, in uh, in Denmark uh, or elsewhere. I I, I looked at, at some forums and uh, and uh, I guess a lot of people in in America uh, place on cork boards, but I'm. I'm really, really happy on the decision that I chose a cork-based board because it the, the paint job is amazing. Uh, it looks really nice, uh, and and again the smoothness of it I've never seen anything like it. Not on a on a fabric board board or anything. So um, 
Also, one of the reasons that I that I uh, that I went for uh, uh, that I went for uh, for this board is actually that uh, that you're able able to. Uh, yeah, one thing uh, I like the round cups. I think round cups does something than than uh, what do you call it? oval cups. So I, I I love the the round cups and. There's a lot of different uh, uh, round cup boards out there, but, but I went for this one. Uh, but what really caught my eye was uh, the way that you that you sh that you stack the checkers, uh, and, and that you're able to actually stack the checkers perfectly with with the cups as well. So when you travel with your board, you will not. Uh, you will have nothing inside the board. Everything will be locked in place. And, and when I say locked in place, I mean locked in place. It, it's just made perfectly. It fits. You have to put a little bit of pressure to to uh, to put it in there. And actually, I bet if I turn it upside down, they wouldn't slide out because it's just perfectly fit so that they are they they in check over here. So uh, and and I think it's 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 really really. I'm I'm amazed of the craftsmanship. This is this is uh, this is this is a really really nice job. Uh, nice doubling here, also has a little pattern thingy going on. Well, it's a doubling here, so you can get them in all sizes and shapes. But actually, what as I said, what really caught my eye was was that everything is made so so that you can you can just shut your board and 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 everything is fixed. No. A lot of the boards that I see, they, they have the cups lying here, and and when you close the board, and you just well, that's nothing. This is the, the lock here. What you can hear is the double and cute inside the cup, but that's it. Nothing is sliding around, so it won't wear the base uh, uh, on the boards where you just have to, when you walk around it. The board are gonna wear down the the base. Uh, no, the cup is gonna uh, wear down the base. So so that's actually the main reason that I wanted exactly this uh, thing from Chris Lloyd because all their boards are made like this. I guess maybe uh, it takes some of the size off because you need extra room here because normally it was would maybe be smaller. But when you buy a board. As big as this, as this, I really don't think it, it matters. This, I really think this is, looks and it looks really, really, really nice. Um, also, I think uh, originally on on the Chris Lloyd uh, website, this uh, the cups come with a chestnut cup, uh, and uh, and I I didn't think the chestnut cup matched matched. The other colors on the board, and actually, I thought this would be, be more bluish, but that's that's okay. It's it has a little a little thing blue going on, but it's really really dark blue. So I thought it would match the, the checkers a bit more, but uh, but uh, I think the chestnut was like kind of off, and and I wrote them at Chris Lloyd, uh, and within 24 hours they they answered me and said if you want the white leather cups. Uh, um, you you just write it in in the email uh, or in uh, when you order it and and we'll just put in white leather cups and they're really it's really amazing hand stitched handmade and and there's a plastic thing in 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 the middle here so so it's so um, <laughs> the dice is even fly. I really like these cups. I really do. They're amazing. Actually, they they have a a, a board 
like similar to this on, on the on the colors and, and with more light blue points. And they have actually plastic cups in the, in the color that matches the checkers. Uh, but uh, a detail on them was that uh, the plastic uh, would be uh, really uh, light blue, like, like the checkers on the outside, but inside they have put cork as well. So, um, but, but you can do the cork thing and the lower cup thing. So I chose the lower cup because I think they, they look really nice. So, and I'm ha happy that I, that I chose the, 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 the leather, leather cup. Yeah, um, and now it's. I just need to. The only bad thing about this Corona thing is that I am. I'm. I living alone, and I. Uh, I don't get to play with anyone before everything is over. But uh, right now in Denmark, they're talking about maybe easing a little bit up on on going out and and things. Um, one thing I would I would uh, I would say also. Uh, I spend like a month on deciding on what board I wanted, size, uh, cork or, uh, or fabric, uh, uh, looking into like a lot of videos on YouTube, uh, looking at forums, looking everywhere, asking in forums what to buy. Uh, and, uh, and the reason I made this video is because I couldn't find many. Chris Lloyd videos and undeservingly because this is an amazing, amazing backgammon board. I, I, I can't wait to play it because I think it's, it's, I think it's going to be affecting the way I play the game because it's, everything is totally neat and, and the detail of it actually, you can see right here, the Chris Lloyd logo, that's, very small detail, but I really, really, really enjoy it. Uh, and the cork on the sides uh, for the dice, and yeah, it's amazing. And the hinges, just everything is smooth, everything fits, everything doesn't slide around. I really, I really love it. And and another thing about Chris Lloyd is um, when I started looking into Chris Lloyd, uh, I. Uh, I also looked at the company and, and the Facebook and, uh, and and it's just really, it's a really nice company. It's a really decent company. It's an old uh, family company. Uh, the, the owner, Jeff Caruso, it, it was his two great uncles and Alphonse and Lockie, I think they're called, who started the company and and, and the videos on, on, you can check them out on their Facebook page. Uh, it, it, it just gives me a, a sense of a, of a family value company where, where employees and, and management and everything just work together to provide these amazing products. Uh, uh, everything is handmade. They also do a lot of, uh, of uh, Mahon tiles and, and they, everything is hand painted and it's just, it's just really craftsmanship. It's, it's perfectly made and everything fits and it, it feels robust uh, like this is gonna this is gonna last me a lifetime uh, um, um, so uh, but I probably buy more because this this is really I can't stretch it enough it's actually what my, when I was planning on on buying uh, a new board and a tournament size board I looked into prices what I could get in uh, in Denmark and uh, and the the price started at uh, let me see that would be around 150 between 150 and 170 dollars around uh, 1,200 kronas and uh, as you probably guessed I'm I'm a gadget freak uh, making unboxing videos um, so I wouldn't settle with the cheapest model I can get. Uh, so I, I spent around a month uh, asking people when I was playing them, where did you get your board, how much did you pay, forums, YouTube, everything. Uh, and, uh, and, um, and this was, as I said, it was between the cheapest one you can get tournament size uh, was between these 150 and 170 dollars. And so I, I decided I wouldn't, 
want the cheapest one, uh, I would uh, up the price a little. So I had a budget at around three hundred dollars. Uh, and actually, this this board is exactly three hundred dollars. Uh, but then there comes uh, uh, came there came uh, additional shipping, and that was eighty six dollars, a bit over the top of my budget, but. I thought, well, if I'm going to spend $300 on a backgammon board, why not spend the last 86? Uh, <laughs> as it happened, uh, as I said, I, I was choosing for a month. And finally, one day, really busy day at work, I just said, hey, let's go. I just go order it, and I was in a hurry to get out, out of the door. So I locked on the computer and, and, uh, and I ordered it. Uh, wrote the email and, and said I wanted the leather cups and and then I just pressed uh, buy and I forgot to adjust the shipping so I got the expensive shipping instead of the uh, less expensive shipping so the shipping was not $86 it was $114 well as I said before $300 what is 86 more 386 what is that $30 more yeah uh, no problem. What I didn't count in was that at, when you order stuff in America and get it shipped to Denmark, if it reaches a certain amount, you have to pay taxes. So I got a bill uh, when it landed in Denmark. I got a bill of additional one hundred and twenty-seven dollars. So my initial uh, budget was three three hundred dollars, and I actually ended up paying five hundred and. Forty-two dollars for a backgammon board. I'm 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 not a cheap, but uh, but it was somewhat more than I uh, than I uh, than I expected. But but sitting with it here, wanting to play it, I I think I think if I have if I had been in a store and felt the quality of the of the craftsmanship felt everything I would easily have paid the 542 so no regrets none at all um, it's uh, it's an amazing board and uh, and if you ever get a chance to play one uh, play one if you have a chance to buy one if you're looking for a new board uh, I would seriously recommend this this is some an amazing board so hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching uh, take care and uh, stay home, stay safe, uh, and I uh, hope to, I get to play you when we when there's no more Corona. Cheers.